we're back and it's time for the Huey Championship round here at the BFO 8 Invitational. These five men will be there and man, this is going to be a big one. The one I like in this pen is the big red they call Shoot Boss from the War Fighting Bull string. I think he's the one to have. You take a look, that's Apache, another War Fighting Bull patiently waiting inside the shotgun chute for the young rookie who impressed us in round number one. Let's go to Nebraska's Eli Sharkey for this round. Nice little start to the bullfight. Did you see him move that bull over and do the step through? This kid has really got something special. Oh, but he's in trouble by the fence. I think that's going to cost him a little bit. Only 84 and a half points. He will not win it all here more than likely. Let's go to Zach Cole and your pick. Shoot boss, the big red bull. Wow, look how fast this big, strong eight-year-old red bull is. But Zach Call is really handling him. Oh, he's in trouble though. How did he keep his feet? This guy is so consistent and so stout and physically in shape. I tell you what, if anybody can beat this bull like you say, it's this guy. But Shoot Balls is hot on the trail of Nebraska's Zach Call. He's going to get himself a little barrel work here. This is a good place to be with Shoot Balls, but you got to stay tight against that bear. Oh my goodness, he came right over top of it. Going to have to move to a different strategy. Shoot Balls just barreling over that hooey barrel. Zach's got to do something different now. Yeah, he's going to have to readjust right here. Oh, that panels aren't a good place to be. That's a place where you can get a leg broke. Watch this back on the replay. I want to talk about this barrel work. What, what did he do? He didn't do anything wrong. It is really unusual for a bull to come over top of the hooey barrel like that. And he gets banged up into the fence. Like you say, a tough place to be. Actually landing into the stands. Our Fit and Wise Sports Medicine team checks him out. And that guy's so tough, he gets on his feet and he gets the score 86 points in the hooey championship round. Let's go to the man that won it all in Las Vegas, $25,000 and more, and the best of our game, Weston Rakowski, in this championship round. They call him the beard, and wow, what a start to that bull fight. Oh, he tried the flat foot, didn't quite make it, but he managed to keep his feet. Here in this championship round, he's facing a familiar foe, a bull that he's been squared up against before. Now this bull has got a really wide rack. They call him mess up the ranch, but you know, He's fast enough to get by that wide set of horns. Waiting for the bull, patiently waiting, making his move, making his presence known here in Ada, Oklahoma. Never been here before, doesn't know about the history, and I don't think he cares. He wants to make his own mark. Yes, he does. Look at Weston Rakowski just handle this bull. He had a little trouble with him in San Angelo, Texas, but boy, he's on the revenge tour right now, and the world champ is sticking it on him. As the clock winds down, we saw in the long round, he took full advantage of that final 20 seconds, and Weston needs to do something here at the tail end of the fight. What's going to happen? Could he win it? Boy, I didn't like this finish right up here at the end of this bullfight, but man, he had a lot in the beginning. We'll see what the judges say. As we watch back the very start of the fight, this was impressive, no doubt. Yes, it was. Let's see how that bull jumped up and trying to clip him. He knew that move was coming. And the numbers come in. Weston Rakowski, an impressive 88 points here in the championship round. It may be enough to get the win here in Ada, but there are two remaining, and a guy who's won it all before is up now, Bonita, Oklahoma's Evan Allard. He's drawn the bull called Dueno de Nada. And what a step through to start this bull fight. Boy, Evan really handles bulls well. He stumbled a little there, but kept his feet. He wow. looks good. This bull is locked on to Evan Allard. This is the hottest bull we've seen in the pen so far. Andy, he's got to do something. He's got the bull to win it on. Well, he had the bull to win it on. Look how that bull slowed down after he realized he couldn't catch Evan. They really get smart really fast. If they can't catch their target, oh, and he's just went after Andy North. That's going to cost Evan too. So just like that, the tides can turn. Evan Allard at the tail end of the fight, looking for some kind of a finish, trying to salvage what started out as a good fight. He makes just a couple more rounds, and it looks like he says, yes, sir, I've had enough. That's going to do it. But hey, he's happy with his performance, and that's all he can ask for. 86 and a half. You know, he, he could have been higher with the start of this bull fight, but it's 40 seconds long, and he only had a bull for half of it. That means one is remaining. Fay, Oklahoma, Shell Apple, and he's got one move up his sleeve that we've yet to see. Here it is, the Superman! Wow. Woo! He pulls it off. Nice move by Shell Apple. Shell Apple engaging and showing us he has what it takes to be the champion. Down on the ground there, but he jumps right back up. Yeah, he does a good job keeping his feet there. He's going to do a little barrel work. Boy, nice little, nice little bullfight going on right here. 
We see him up against the barrel. We saw this in round number one with him. He has to bring this bull back out, especially this one, Zombie Express. Yeah, he got in a little trouble there. It's hard to work a barrel up against a fence like that. You run out of room if he starts backing you up. Watch this on the replay. Oh man, is that pretty. He invented that move. He is the Superman. Will it be enough? The scores come in, the judges liked it. 87 points for Shell Apple, but that will not be enough to knock the champion off of his high throne. Weston Rakowski of Haskell, Texas will win here at the Ada Invitational. When we come back from the break, we'll get a chance to catch up with our champion.